We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're shining a spotlight on four-star running back Peyton Lewis, who's going to be playing for the Tennessee Volunteers. We're going to look at those highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player. And you need to know what these players look like for when they start making plays for your team. That being said, Here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for the highlights, fast forward a little bit. But we're ranked RB13 in the class, RB12 in the composite, six foot and a half, 197 pounds. Probably a little thicker by now because these are a little bit dated, and they always are. He's enrolled with Tennessee, but 33 offers. That's a lot of offers. One for a running back and two for a guy ranked around 170 overall that's a lot of offers that's letting you know that college football wanted him top tier power five programs right here at the top auburn alabama tennessee they got him projected to be a power five starter and we got speed two time 55 meter champ productive player often runs out of 21 personnel against stacked defense is a home run threat on the field we're looking at speed we're looking at a guy who runs with purpose who can accelerate quickly through the gaps effective pass catcher as well that being said we're going to see some fun highlights we're going to see a running back who's a home run threat who can take it to the distance to the house anywhere on the field 55 meters 6.34 300 meter time we got a speed serve we got a track guy we got production 1500 yards 17 touchdowns in 2022 enrolled with tennessee we're locked in with the volunteers four-star prospect going over to on three here they got him listed at 190 pounds, so they might have some dated information. On top of that, they got him ranked as the fourth best running back in the class. 13th on 24-7 Sports, 12th on ESPN, 20th on Rivals, 10th in the industry rankings. That being said, we're going to take a look at the highlights. We're going to see what he's working with. We have 3 minutes and 57 seconds. So let's see what he's putting together here. There's him in the backfield there. Here we go, the first play, and we're rolling. We're rolling. Tough to tackle. We got speed. Going back to that play. Let's go back to that. Look over here. Right here. Right here. Watch him go. Boom, boom. Just dragging guys. Then the pop-off step right there into the end zone. You see some thickness right there? Again, so here, second level. This is what I'm seeing right about here. Right here. We're kicking it in. We're starting to hit that top end right there. We're seeing the speed right there. Starting to see that burst. After getting touched up in the second level by defenders. Reading their blocks right. Cutting it up. Ooh. Ooh. They hit him head on. Look at him pull away. We slow down so we don't get injured. Um... Getting into the end zone. Follows it up. Hits that hole. Look at him get low there. Look at him get low right there going in. Bam. Let's get a better look. Right there. Look at that. Low pad level. Now watch him scoot. We're going to pull away. Right there around the five yard line. He's starting to hit his top end. Hitting it on the outside. Hitting that gap right there. We're gone. We're gone right there. Here's the next play. We're rolling. Boom, we're scooting it out. That's easy money. That's easy money for a guy like him. Here's our next one. We're in the backfield. Kicking it to the outside. And we're going to take it. Remember, Jalen Wright's leaving. And they're always getting running backs in. This is a guy that's got a lot of upside. I can definitely tell you that much. Special teams. We're moving. We're going to take that sideline here. Woo! There we go. He's got some burst. He's got two bursts, one off the initial release, the start of the run, and then right before he hits that top end. 
Now we're going to start going. Watch him pull away here. What? Now we're going to slow down. You see that? There we go. Next play. Taking the pitch. We're going to get this edge right here. We're going to get this edge. We're going to cut it up. He knew he had it. Here's this next one. We're in the slot. Coming on the route. Bam. Gets low. Sends the guy down. A good base on him. Here's the next one. It's the handoff. Touched up a little bit and we're gone. He's gone. There it is. That speed and burst. Watch him go here. Cuts it up. We're going to pull away here. That guy was getting traction, and then all he had to do was just start running. Pulls away easy. He's got good vision. Gets low at point of contact, I'll say that. Shells up good. You see on that block, he veered out. Of smart. He's got cushion. He's on house it. Right there it is. Right there it is. Maybe not. They got a good pursuit angle. He's going to break it, isn't he? He got it. Touchdown. That's a big play. That's a big play. That's a good one to end on. So what I'm seeing here, and we all are seeing it here, we got elite speed, we got top end speed, we got good bursts. On top of that, amazing vision to go along with that speed, to help supplement that speed, to help them get to that top end, to help them get to the second level. Because once they're past the second level and getting past those DBs, we turn it on. On top of that, he can deliver some blows at the point of contact. He gets low at the point of contact. A big mover. Because he's got a lot of kinetic energy already. He can really explode through the hit there. And we saw him drive some guys back, drive some guys to the ground and keep going. You got to come at him correctly because he is going to move you and he's going to really deliver that blow and keep going. He's got good contact balance, moves laterally well. He's a one cut and go guy. He can chain together moves. I bet you he can definitely do that. He's shown that. Used in the passing game, we only saw like maybe one or two receptions. But when a guy has that kind of speed, you just dish it to him in the flat. You're going to have some space there. He needs that space to ramp up. And when he does, that could be housed. He's a dangerous guy. And the thing about him looking at his frame, we're a little bit taller for a running back. That's good considering how low he can get at the point of contact. So we're not worried about that. But that's also good in the reference point that he can add size and add mass. He's going to be a bigger guy here in the next few years. He's going to be 200 plus easy. Pushing 215, 220-ish. Definitely could see that. 210-ish, 215, 220, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. But he's going to have good size and just athleticism when things are said and done. When he grows into that frame as he gets older. Definitely seeing that happening. Looking at his picture right now on on three. Definitely see that. Definitely see that with the speed, the burst, the explosiveness. Ain't going to inhibit that at all. Ain't going to. It's going to make him more powerful. That's just what's naturally going to happen there at Tennessee. I look for him to make some waves soon. I look for him to be on the field sooner than later. Especially if he starts tapping into that upside. He's got a lot of it. Especially with that burst. If he starts being used more in a passing game. More screen plays. More in the flat. He's going to show that upside. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.